testimonials are very popular these days and with good reason. They give your business instant credibility. Uh, testimonial sliders are a wonderful way of displaying multiple testimonials without cluttering up your website. And in this lesson, I want to show you how to use the built-in list section in 7.1 uh, to create a testimonial slider without any single line of code. Uh, so let us get started. Um, so you can see here, uh, you know, we have the slider and we have our arrows here. And this is the uh, indefinite scroll or infinite scroll, I think they call it. So it will basically just loop through it um, in, in infinitely. Um, I like to use that setting because then I have arrows on both sides and it will just go back to the beginning once it's looped through all of the testimonials that you have. And we have, you know, the image here and a title and description and the name. So how do we do that? Let us go into edit mode and let's add a section. So here you want to select the list layout and here we have the so-called auto layouts. These are containers and the content is actually inside the containers. So you don't add it, you know, like on the page, you add it inside the container. And let's scroll down to this one here because that is close to what we want to achieve. Um, and then here you have your edit container or uh, edit content option. Uh, so as you can see, you can't like click into this and change anything on the page here. You have to actually go to edit content. And here we have um, three options, you know, elements. That's basically what's shown on the page here. A section, you can add a section title. So you could, for instance, uh, select that. Then you go to content, click on title. And then here, you know, you could say something like, you know, kind words from my clients. And that would be your section title. You can also add a button that adds a button below it. But in our case, we don't need that. And then here you have the item um, uh, options. Uh, so you can show an image, you have a title, you have a, a body description. Uh, you can also show buttons here. So if you want to have call to action points, but for testimonials, we don't need those. So we're going to um, uncheck those. And now we're going to go to content. And here are all the items that are in our list. And uh, if you click on the first one, so here we have our image, uh, image alt text. Uh, that is what you uh, need to add for SEO and also for screen readers. Usually just a short description of the image. Uh, we have our title and then the uh, body description here. So I'm just going to fill that in with the testimonials and I will be right. I will be right. Okay, I just added the content here, but I wanted to show you how to change the image as well. So uh, if you go to the predefined items, you just delete it and then you can either add an image from your computer or if you have an image library or want to search free images, click on search images. You know, I already have the images in my library here, so I'm just going to add that here. And um, once that is in here, you know, I'm just going to go back and I don't want this last item here. So I'm just going to click on the trash can and delete it. And likewise, if you want to add more images, you just click on add and then you can just, you know, do the same thing again here. And what's also really nice is you can sort your images here, you know, so you can actually change the order as well, you know, in, in how they appear. So now we have our content and I always populate the content, you know, when I create a new list section. Uh, if we go to design, by default, it always starts with a simple list. And I actually use that to add my content, even if I use a different style later on, because then I can see at a glance, you know, that everything is as it should be, that there aren't any typos and things like that. Um, once I have added my content, so in order to achieve this layout here, this is actually the carousel layout. So I'm going to go back here and um, go to uh, design and then here I'm going to select carousel and that's just gonna immediately change how everything looks and now we're going to have to actually update our settings again. Uh, one thing you will notice for instance is that now we have some buttons here. 
this is basically, these are the default settings that Squarespace have chosen for the car carousel layout. So we're going to go back to elements and uncheck show button because we don't want the button here for our um, testimonials. And go back to design and now we're going to just go through this step by step. First we're going to change the alignment and center everything. We're also going to change the maximum number of columns because we're only going to show one column, which makes it really big at the moment. And that's fine. Don't worry about that. We'll change that shortly. Image crop. We actually have to reselect our circle. We lost that setting when we changed our uh, design here. Then infinite scroll. That's what I mentioned earlier, you know, where you can just keep scrolling through. So we want that. But show adjacent slides, you can see here on the left and on the right, you know, it shows uh, the other slides. I don't want to see those. I just want to have the one. And now we're going to go into size and space and then change the layout to inset. So that immediately uh, changes this a bit. And then media width, uh, you can change it to small, but even that is a little bit too large for my liking. So go to the three dots and you can actually further customize it here. So I usually have it around, uh, you know, like 25%. Uh, then in the next part here, we can change the placement and center our image. So Mia, that is usually the image. Uh, then content width, you know, that is the content uh, under the image. Um, so I'm not, I don't like it as, as large. I usually change it to something like medium because I don't like, uh, it depends on the screen size, of course, of the person who looks at your website. So I have a larger monitor. I, I hate it when uh, text uh, is like really wide and goes to the edge of the screen and then it's really hard to read. It's just not good design. Um, so I preempt that by making sure that my content is always a comfortable size. Um, now, if you design on a smaller screen, you, it might not look so bad to you, but still keep that in mind for people who look at things on uh, or at your website on larger screens. Content placement is already centered. Uh, so the space between um, elements, uh, this is actually um, already uh, set here to the customization. So you can either do, you know, like small and it's basically the space between um, you know, your title and, and all of these elements, or if you go to, oops, no, sorry, I'm in the wrong one here, a space between elements. Um, so if you look at this here, you know, it will space it all out. And that's a little bit too, too much. I don't want it like that. I often actually customize that. So I go, you know, um, and s select the space between the title and my photo the space between the image and the text, you know, that doesn't have to be quite so um, large either. So I make that maybe five. And then I'll definitely bring up uh, the text as well uh, to round about 2%. You know, it's probably if we go to small, yeah, that's almost that as well. Um, and I might actually just make the space a little bit larger um, below the title you know, the section title here. So play around with that. And uh, space between slides, since we only have a single column layout, we don't have to worry about that. Vertical padding, padding <laughs> that is your uh, section padding here, the top and the bottom. So you can set that to small and you can see here, you know, now it's uh, closer to the edge uh, or medium. Uh, I, I use medium for a lot of my sections. So I'm just gonna, uh, you know, I always, jump to the wrong uh, place, hang on, spacing, vertical padding. <laughs> That's where we were, medium. So I often use uh, medium. It's very easy to get a little bit confused if you've never used the list um, section before because there's a lot of, there are a lot of options here. So make sure you always read uh, the option here and because it's very easy to go into the wrong one and, and change something that you didn't want to change. So use a little bit of care when you do this. So yes, yeah, so obstacle padding and then position. Um, again, we have a single, um, you know, uh, column layout, but I usually uh, align it to the top of the, of the, um, you know, of the container for the item here. And um, so this way, as you slide through, if you, for instance, have um, text that is longer, the images will always be aligned at the top, you know, as you slide through. So um, that, that is how I like to do it. 
Um, and now we're going to go back uh, because I want to have the text uh, a little bit larger as well. And the text is actually configured in style. And then here text size, uh, we can, for instance, do XL. And again, you can click on the three dots. And I really like this. You can actually individually also change the description um, as well as the title. So that I think is really nice. Um, and then here now we have a card option here. And I don't think that's working um, as intended. I am not sure. Um, what it does is if you check this, this option, it changes like the padding around the, um, you know, around your items here, your, your image and your text. And, um, but we can't actually change the card color. And I, tr I tried that, uh, I went to the color settings. There is no option in the carousel design to change the color of the card. So to me, that actually makes the card a little bit pointless. And uh, the card is great in other design sections, uh, design settings, and I will show you that in a moment. So you just leave that unchecked. You know, we don't need it for this particular testimonial slider. And then your navigation here. So you can either center will actually put them uh, on, on the side here and uh, or bottom will put them below your um, content. So I quite like them on the side and then you can also choose the offset. Uh, I like to bring them in a little bit. Um, don't bring them in too much though, because as screen um, size gets smaller, it will actually squish them over your text. Uh, you can also see if you go to mobile preview uh, what this looks like uh, and that's really nice in mobile preview it will put the arrows below the text you know so that is uh, nice. I also recommend to keep your text more or less uh, to the same um, height you know so basically the content should be more or less the same size. Um, uh, because otherwise you will end up with a lot of white space below those testimonials that are shorter. Um, so I just for consistency like to actually keep them all the same. And uh, there you have it, you know, so here is our testimonial slider. So now people can just go through and because it's the infinite scroll, they will just come back to the beginning and scroll through again. If you'd like that, you can just turn that off. So before we go, I want to just uh, give you a little bonus uh, option as well. So here in this case, we only have three testimonials, you know, so we don't know, I would say for a slider, that's what I use when I have like, you know, four, five, six testimonials, maybe even more, uh, then I would use a slider. But if I only have three, I also really like this option here. This is our list view, and this is where we use the card, you know, so this here, this white background, that is our card. And uh, so this is basically the simple list setting. And, uh, and then, you know, I just uh, configured all of this inside the size and spacing and in the style to make it look like this. Uh, and this way it is a little bit more static, but I think this is also a really nice way to display, to display testimonials. Uh, so have a play around with this, you know, these uh, list sections, uh, a lot of fun actually uh, and you just have a lot of options uh, which makes it very versatile so enjoy this